boys and girls. Today we're gonna read my favorite, The Three Little Pigs. All right, let's open up to that title page, Three Little Pigs, retold by Barbara Branner. This is the story of three little pigs and one big bad wolf. The three little pigs lived in a house at the bottom of the hill. They lived with their mother. The big bad wolf lived in a house at the top of the hill. He lived alone. One day, mother pig said, boys, it's time for you to go your own way and to live in your own houses. Yup, it's time, said the first little pig. To go our own way, said the second little pig and to live in our own houses, said the third little pig. So the three little pigs packed their bags and they left the house at the bottom of the hill. Goodbye now, their mother said. Don't forget, watch out for the big bad wolf. He eats little pigs. We won't forget, said the three little pigs. B is for big, said the first little pig. B is for bad, said the second little pig. And wolf is for wolf, said the third little pig. They waved goodbye and went their merry way. Soon they came to a place where the three roads met. I'll go this way and build a house, said pig number one. I'll go that way and build a house, said pig number two. And I'll stay right here and build my house, said pig number three. So each little pig went his own way. The first little pig built his house of straw. One, two, three, snip, snap, his house was done. It was not a very good house. It was not a very strong house. But who cares, said the little pig. I want to work all day. I want to dance and play. So he did. But someone was watching from the hill. Someone who likes to eat little pigs. The second little pig built his house out of sticks. One, two, three, snip, snap. His house was done. Not a very good house. Not a very strong house. But who cares, said the little pig. I don't wanna work all day. I wanna sing and play. And that's what he did. But someone was watching from the hill. Somebody who likes to eat little pigs. The third little pig built his house out of bricks. Now this little pig worked hard. He made a floor of wood. He made a door. He built his house brick by brick. He made a chimney on the roof. When it was done, it was a good house. It was a strong house. Now I have time to rest and play. And that's what the third little pig did. But someone was watching from the hill. Someone who liked to eat little pigs. The next day, someone came down the hill. The big bad wolf. He went to the house of straw and he banged on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he called. The first little pig looked out the window. He saw the big bad wolf. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in. Oh, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. He huffed and he puffed and he blew that house of straw right down. The little pig got out just in time. He ran to his brother's house of sticks. Help, help, the big bad wolf is coming. The second little pig quickly let him in and locked the door. Now the big bad wolf put on a sheep's skin. He went to the house of sticks. 
he banged on the door and in a sweet voice he said, little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Uh, who are you? said the second little pig. I am a sheep, said the wolf sweetly. The two little pigs looked out the window. They could see the wolf's eyes under the sheep's skin. So the second little pig said, no, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in. I wonder what he's gonna do. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. He huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed and he blew the house of sticks right down. The two little pigs got out just in time and they ran to their brother's house of bricks. Help, help, the big bad wolf is coming. The third little pig quickly let them in and locked the door. But the wolf came and he began to bang on the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, the wolf called. But the third little pig said, no, no, by the hair of my chitty chit chin, I won't let you in. Well, that made the wolf mad and he said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The two little pigs were afraid, but the third little pig said, don't be afraid. The wolf cannot blow this house down. This is a very strong house. So he told the wolf, go ahead, blow your head off. We're not afraid of the big bad wolf. Oh, so then the wolf began. He huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. Then he puffed and he huffed. Puff, huff, huff, puff. His face got red, his ears turned blue, his eyes began to water, but he could not blow down that house of bricks. Now the wolf was mad. He wanted to get those pigs. I know what I'll do, he said. I'll go up the side of the house, brick by brick. Then I'll slide down the chimney. The three little pigs heard him on the roof. Oh, he's on the roof, said pig number one. Oh, he's gonna come down the chimney, said pig number two. Pig number three said, quick, get a pot of hot water. They got a pot of hot water. It was really hot. They put it under the chimney. The wolf came down the chimney. Plop. He fell right into the pot of hot water. Help, help, he cried. I'm in hot water. He jumped up. He ran out of the house. He ran and ran and did not stop until he got to his house. And he never came down the hill again. The wolf still lives in his house at the top of the hill all alone. He's still big, but he's not so bad anymore. He never eats little pigs anymore. How to eat chicken. <laughs> now the three little pigs live together in the house of bricks. They play and sing and are merry all day long. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Tra la 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 la.